Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are back in Falcon Lake now that we have completed all the new species that have been added to the Salty Delta in Florida, plus the event of St. Patrick's Day. Got us a little distracted there. But we have come back here to do a little bit of fishing, and we're going to be doing some fishing at the levels that you should be close to when you get here. Now, I am using gear that's not, none of the gear I'm using is above level 20. So this is a level 14 and I wouldn't suggest coming here until at least level 20. That's just, that's just the case because it'd be kind of tough and it, you don't have uh, keep nets that's going to keep enough of the fish. Now, there are a lot of new species here that have been added since the last time that I had been here and I didn't go over it last time when I was doing the brown trout but one of the new ones that has been added it's been here a little while but you don't see it too often that's the rock bass now these things don't seem to have a lure that they go for but they do go for leeches and uh, night crawlers and it looks like large minnows okay of course we've got the red breast sunfish the other new one that they just added was the Oregon red bound trap red band trout and they do come in a unique and they go for a lot of different things now they can be float fished or you can use uh, spoons and spinners now soft baits are okay for these guys but these do come in a unique version so hopefully if you get lucky enough you can catch one but that's what what these look like is right here and obviously the red band is very prominent on this fish so that's what you're looking for alright tonight I'm getting a lot of interruptions anyway mostly dogs anyway guys I'm gonna be coming over here first to the trout lair and we're gonna see if we can't get some red bands Now I've caught them here I've caught them at a bridge of logs and I've caught them at the mountain watcher. Those are the only three places I have caught them. But we're going to start with Trout Lair in a new private room. Let me go ahead and get this started. And we're going to start with spinners too. So anyway, it's early morning, about 6 a.m. This is prime time, guys. Now if you fish out that way, you're going to be going for brown trout. But we're going to try fishing over this direction. Well, let me go ahead and show you what I'm using here. I'm using my Argo 6 foot by 3 inch. I'm also using my Jig Winner 8 foot by 10 inch and my Elemental 6, in, six foot by 7 inch. Now right now I've got them all with these special lures. I'm going to switch this over. I took the weight of the line down a little bit and I might take it down a little more. I haven't decided just yet. Because I might go... No, I'll keep it there. I'll keep it there. But we're going to put some of these nano spinners on here. They love the nano spinners. This first one, the yellow perch one, is really good. As is this golden black trout. But the tiger bugs, they, they just love. And if that doesn't work, go for one of these um, rainbow spinners half ounce is really good as well I thought I had an eighth ounce but apparently I don't hmm well 
Well, that's weird. <laughs> Never had that happen before. Okay, the elemental is good for light tackle. I really like and enjoy using it here. Probably more than just about any of my bait casting rods. These fish, they don't, as you can see, I can cast a good darn ways with it. So we're going to try casting over here. And we do stand a good chance of running into some smallmouth because of the rocks. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a twitching motion as much as I can past it. Now this water is extremely deep. You have to wait until it gets to the bottom. Well, something was interesting, and I might have to slow it down just a little bit more. There we go. Whoa! I think this is a smallmouth, guys. Yeah, that's always a possibility. These young smallmouth bass, they like to hang out by the rocks. Let's cast out a little bit farther this time. Maybe we can avoid them. <laughs> it sounds like a horrible thing, doesn't it? Uh, the smallmouth are a... As far as being here, they're almost a little bit of a nuisance. I mean, unless that's what you're shooting for. And if you're going for trout, they will often get your bait if you're float fishing. So you got to deal with them. Well, that's a really deep spot here, guys. All right, we're going to do a stop and go motion. The important thing to note, guys, is with trout fishing, you have to let it sit on the bottom for a little while because trout like to come back and pick things up. And you can bounce it, too. There we go. I was trying a little twitching action there got us a young rainbow trout yeah the rainbows also love these lures too you'll probably get them more often than the Oregon red bands There we go. Whoa! Yeehaw! <laughs> yeah, these young rainbow trout, man, they really go for that. Yeah, I think I'm going to be getting a lot of that. I might come over here now. See if I can't get some of the red bands over here. I don't get them there as much, to be perfectly honest. I just thought I'd give it a shot, but it's already almost 6.30. We're going to run out of prime time here we don't do something about it wow that's a longer walk than I realize but this log bridge here is another excellent spot and you can fish on either side it doesn't really matter but the red bands I have caught them a lot right over here The nice thing about the red bands is I catch them throughout the day. They they aren't really peak fish, but you can catch them more often in the peaks. But when the rainbow trouts drop off, the red bands tend to pick up a little bit more. There, he did. <laughs> he did. All right, let's see what we got here, guys. Thinking it's another small... No, it's a cutthroat. It's a cutthroat. Looks like the red bands are eluding me. It's probably because that's what I'm after.
There we go. Looks like they're going for the tiger this time. Boy, he is not giving up the fight on this. This might be a smallmouth, guys. Yeah, I think it's a smallmouth just because of the way he's fighting so hard. Nope, it was a cut. Rainbow trout. Rainbow trout. Boy, he was a fighter. Jeez. He was quite the fighter. I didn't expect him to be biting so late, to be honest. There's another one. There we go, guys. There we go. The Oregon Red Band Trout. See, now it's late enough in the day we're going to be catching them. So, usually, it seems like it's just about after 7, and you'll catch them through noon. I'm not saying you won't catch them in the morning, it's just that the, the cutthroat and the rainbows are so much more active in the early morning and the late evening. They seem to be biting now. Oh, he's going to do one of those tricks. I hate when they do that. Come on. Yep, another rainbow. But you can see how often I'm pulling them in and each time 171 cash I mean that that's some that's a chunk of change guys it'll pay for your trip pretty quick especially if you have a decent size keep net that's the thing with this game there's a lot of grinding unfortunately I know you want to catch all the species because that's kind of my thing I like to see if I can catch every species but to get to the different areas you have to you have to pay your dues now if I get a bit of a nope that's an actual bite okay maybe it was the same fish he just kept going for it These trout love to jump. Sometimes, though, they'll jump right off, so you got to be careful. Cannot get over how many rainbows are out today. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Let me try it deeper this time. Alright guys, I am going to go over to the last spot that I fished this at, but this time I'm going to jump there because honestly, it takes too long to walk. And it's called, I forgot to say, the Mountain Watcher. And I catch a lot of the red bands here, but to fish for them, you got to cast over there towards waterfall I don't know if you can see those lily pads but they tend to be around there
That big rock right there is a good spot too. Now this is going to be incredibly deep. So you're going to have to wait a while for it to get to the bottom. And get a snag, apparently. <laughs> That's alright. This usually doesn't end up breaking the line. There we go. Oh, well, apparently it was not off to the left enough. Yeah, it's been a little while since I've been here. Boy, this is a fighting little guy. Holy crap. He is fighting me. We're going to raise this up above us. I'll be darned. Brown trout. It was not going after him. I'll take him, though. <laughs> I'll definitely take him. Hmm. Very interesting. There we go. There we go. Let's see what we got here, guys. got here guys might be another brown trout I'm not sure yep another brown trout nice one and there he is Young rainbow trout. Well, for the life of me, I cannot seem to catch another Oregon red band. I was hoping to get one more. Not sure what I got here, guys, but I was using a lifter and drop just for giggles, and he definitely wanted it. Has to be a cutthroat. Nice cutthroat. That sucked. Oh, that was fast. Cut throat.
Well, they seem to be really hitting the lift and drop today. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Last time it was the stop and go. You just never know, do you? You got to be willing to experiment, guys. You got to see what the fish want. Well, guys, I wish I could have got one more organ band, but I've been fishing for quite a while here. But I've caught a lot of fish off this little guy, these nano spinners. And I tell you, it seems like the best ones are the golden black trout and the tiger bug. Now, the yellow perch isn't bad, but it seems to work better for me on cloudy days. It's the only reason I didn't use it. The other two seem to stand out a little bit better for some reason on a sunny day. So I might have to come back here some other time on a cloudy day so you can see the difference. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. So please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet here at Falcon Lake. So until then, unless something else new comes out, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.